you so doing? Much. No, I'm excellent. I'm We're excellent. happy to have you here. It's a pleasure. We've been always. trying. And do you like the media or your media show? Uh, I think I should say I like the media because I'm a filmmaker, mm -hmm. but as a person, Yes, yeah. because it's been tricky since your movie. Okay, I have to read this for everyone who's not seen this before. The Fisherman's Diary, pre-selected at the Oscars, 134 nominations and over 90 awards won. More That's than 100 now. More than 100 now. See, I'm even behind it. Yeah. How do you feel about this? Did you know you were making a classic when you were making that film? Uh, yeah, I think I... I always tried to see my end from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So I knew definitely what I was into. Yes. Not just me, it's never a solitary effort. Of course. Yeah, it's always a team effort. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why the crew was uh, carefully selected. Mm -hmm. The cast too very, very carefully selected. Yeah. Everything was intentional. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because when we look at it, it shows that everything was intentional. Yeah. But what was the most difficult part about being a director in a project like that? I think the most difficult part is uh, being able to deal with uh, human beings mm. who come from diverse, uh, uh, from different, from different places with different upbringings. Yes. Yeah, like uh, they always say, there is group dynamism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, actor A has like sixteen faces, actor B has like twenty ten faces. That's an interesting way to see it. Yes. Yeah. So definitely, as a director, you have to you have to master how to approach all of these people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and me for one, I think I'm 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 a peace I'm a peace friendly person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will not go into a set where the spirits are that scattered. So I always try my best to get on that one-on-one uh, -on -one basis. Yeah, so that to ensure everyone is comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Well, when Can Quintus was here, I think two years ago, he mentioned something. I'm going to check out with you. He said there was a scene. If you've watched The Fisherman's Diary, you know there's actually a rape scene, and of that you found it really hard shooting that scene. Tell us about that experience. As a filmmaker, you were so engrossed in the story that you couldn't even go through it. Yeah, I think uh, there are some scenes like that that I feel like if it is left for John Scott, mm -hmm. I will not do those, th those scenes. Okay. But because I'm a filmmaker, I'm obliged. Yeah. I'm obliged to entertain. I'm obliged to tell the story. I think when it came to that scene, that rape scene, mm -hmm. where uh, Sule was raping uh, Eka, mm -hmm. It took almost an hour before we called the shots. I remember I was I was emotional. I was I I could not I, I was trying to imagine how a man like that will I got myself because as a director you get yourself into all the characters. Yeah. Yeah, so I got myself in a lot into Eka mm -hmm. and I was like, nah 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 nah. Eka herself she cried before yes. the scene. And you had to talk to her. Yeah, I, I, first time actress, how, and mm -hmm. also a child. She's not. A, yeah, she's a child, but not yeah. a first time actress. Yeah. yeah. So when she approached me, she heard me. She was like, Uncle Scott, I don't want to. I said, mm -hmm. Mama, it's okay, it's okay. This is not real life after all. Yeah. We are just portraying people's stories. So I think after some time, I got I got uh, the the courage to call the shots and. We went ahead. We see that being a director, you're a friend, you're a father. You have to be all of those things to yeah. ensure yeah. that the team goes through. But then the success. What is the recipe for such a success? Because other people are looking at The Fisherman's Diary as a benchmark in yeah. filmmaking right now. So what is the recipe to get it that right, not only in Cameroon, but around the world? I think uh, there are other small, small stuffs involved, but I think my major recipe will always be the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I'm a very spiritual person. Yeah. Yeah, so before The Fisherman's Diary, I think, like I said, I saw the end from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm a very, very spiritual person. The Holy Spirit is my master counselor all the time. Yeah. Yeah, but above, aside, aside that, not above that, mm -hmm. <laughs> Aside that, I think um, focus yeah. has a major role to play. Yeah, you're keeping it realistic as well. Yeah. It's something that other people can attain. If you keep it, if you're God-minded, and then you're also focused, then you can find success. That simple. Let's talk about why you are here. Half heaven. It's not yet out, but people are talking about it online. Yeah. So I'm just proposing that we have a little peek at the teaser, and then okay. we'll talk about it. Okay. Half heaven.
But from what I perceive, it's a gritty film. It's raw. Very raw. You are not holding back anything. I don't hold back anything when it comes to right. filmmaking. Right. Tell me a little bit, because you can't tell us the story in general, but what can you tell us about Half Heaven? Mm, I can say Half Heaven is about a rigid pastor who journeys into, into a hellish community. Mm -hmm. A community characterized by gruesome gentlemen who pride themselves to prey on every or anybody that they come across. Why did you want to tell a story like this? Uh, it's a real happening. Yeah. Just that sometimes as a filmmaker, you, 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 you tune up the, the, the gruesomeness a bit. Yes. Yeah, so we wanted to, to... Half Heaven is some sort of a gospel film. Okay. Yeah. Yes. But the Reja, we do not want to tell the mediocre gospel film. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to tell it in a very entertaining an authentic way. An authentic way. Because the truth is, life can be gritty. It can be hard. It can be raw. It is raw. You can't hide that because you're going to talk about God changing things. You have to show God's power through the reality of the situation. Definitely. So I think that's what we're going to experience when we watch Half Heaven. So when is it going to be released? I think uh, we're working on the final touches of Half Heaven. Right now we are almost... Uh, at the tail end of it, at mm -hmm. the, of the post-production, yeah. and it will be done in the in the weeks ahead. Okay. So definitely after that, we will announce uh, the release, mm -hmm. the the premieres, the different premieres, and of course we are submitting Half Heaven into quite some film awards and Festival. film festivals around the world. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll be winning even more. But then let's talk about the cast. Who are the people you chose to be a part of this project, and tell us why for a few of them. Uh, I think I will start with uh, the Cameroonian cast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we chose light-minded people, people who, to my view, are professionals in the game. So we had Cindy Amade, mm -hmm. we had uh, Siofa Roland, mm -hmm. we had uh, Rafa Obitambe. Who is looking scary in yeah, the yeah, teaser. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 very, very scary. Mm -hmm. His character is that scary. And we also had uh, Chidi Mokeme from Nigeria. From Nigeria. Yeah, the veteran. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's get back to that. I have to ask you, because I know people are thinking, they're like, why didn't you just have only a Cameroonian cast? Why did you have to have a Nigerian join the cast? It's not me, I'm asking for them. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's okay, I think uh, there, is a, there is a reason for that. Yeah. We do films to have money and do more films. Yeah. So Chidi, Chidi is an African icon. Yeah, so definitely his presence in the movie will make the movie pass in different platforms because definitely I know the producers want to want the film to reach a lot of many big avenues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of which uh, it will hit it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that you're already seeing the future as usual yeah. from the present. But then there's a challenge going on. Yeah. Tell us about that. Uh, there is a picture online on the page of uh, Half Heaven the movie mm -hmm. on Facebook. Yeah, so the challenge is all about interpreting a picture. It's a picture extracted from the from Half Heaven, from yeah. the film Half Heaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, 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 this thing, the reason for it is to get the, the, the vibe of Half Heaven going for everybody to be involved in this mission of Half Heaven. Yeah, so you just have to interpret the picture in okay. Pigeon. Oh, in Pigeon? Yeah, you do a video, a video of yourself. Half Heaven is all, about, it's all in Pigeon. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And then we call it the Mboku language. Uh -huh. yeah. Because it's the reality of it's what's spoken re in those places. That is Cameroon. Yes. That's okay. Cameroon. So you do a video in Pigeon yeah. and send it. And then you send it and then you have to win a prize. There is 350,000 francs that's up. For a short video, just I, like that. I think that could be some, someone's holiday job. Yeah, or school fees and yeah. even more. Even more. Okay, so your vision for the Cameron film industry, what is it? Because you don't only make movies. See, when we talk about The Fisherman's Diary, it's not his first movie. He's been doing movies a long time before then. And you also do TV series. Yeah. What is your vision? Because you're contributing a lot. I think uh, my main vision for the Cameron film industry is to alert the world mm -hmm. on a lot of ills that are happening in the communities and seek for ways to fix it. Because I don't just tell films like an empty filmmaker, no. Mm -hmm. I, try to, I try to fill up gaps in the community. Yeah. Like when we came to The Fisherman's Diary, we were talking on girl child education and early marriage. Mm -hmm. And now we are talking on rigid gospel mm -hmm. Yeah. In my next film, which is uh, No Song for Them, 
Oh, we'll it's be, already, you're already working on it? Yeah, I'm working on my next film, No Song for Them. Okay. So we'll be talking on autistic children, how they perceive autism mm -hmm. in Africa. Because we get to perceive it as a, we perceive autism as a curse, witchcraft, mm -hmm. whereas these guys are geniuses. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So those are the things I seek to address. And even when, we, when, I, when I write, like in the film Gano, a film I wrote with a book proxy, mm -hmm. the writer of Fisherman's Diary. Coming up soon, Gano. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think we try to tell stories that people will identify with and learn from. Yes. Keep it real. Keep it real. I absolutely love that. And there's one thing that goes with movies, music. Yeah. Who is making the music in your film, Half Heaven? Uh, I think my one of the producers, uh, Proxy Boo, mm -hmm. I think he produced the film together with Carista Labelle. So Proxy Boo is uh, a music guru. Okay. Yeah, but definitely he will reach out to other to, to these big artists too so that we get the finest we mm -hmm. can have. And when you're looking for a song in this kind of Mboku story, mm -hmm. you look for songs that mirror the story, right? Of course. Mm -hmm. Because we felt that in the Fisherman's Diary as well. You had the celebrity singers in the country, yeah. but they reflected the story of the film. True. So apart from all this film talk, what's your favorite song this year? Uh, my favorite song this year? <laughs> I know you have many, but what's the one that just comes to your mind when I ask this question? Uh, I like the song. It might not be from this year. Uh huh. Just yeah. Yeah. You do not lie. You do not feel. What is hard for you to do? It, it doesn't, doesn't exist. exist oh. it, it can, can never, never ever, ever exist. exist oh. Oh. See, you should try singing. Look at that bass coming out from your <laughs> voice. Loving it. When I sing, only God loves my <laughs> voice. <laughs> John Scott and I thank you so much for spending this morning with us yeah. and we're wrapping up this World Music Day telling people watch out for Half Heaven participate in the challenge follow him and all his other movies but then I'm going to leave you with this artist Venuitina singing Musica I trust her right I trust her <laughs> have a lovely weekend bye <laughs> Cliff exclusive, sir. Then I tell her, Musica, you say you're at the car, Musica. Early every time to break a rice up, almost everything around me now, straight up. But they put a nose down, cause my shit is up. No one knows what you feel when you shit up. Spiritual but factual, my nigga. Slowly but surely it's gradual. Fena mkula, fena want so. Wala, musika no fit bring us wahala. Musika, musika wo mo prasya. Musika, musika wo mo prasya. Atururu, atururu wo mo prasya. Atururu, atururu wo mo prasya. Atururu. Tururu mo krasya, tururu, tururu mo krasya, tururu, tururu mo krasya.